Breaking news from the MLB trade that on the New York Yankees just acquired Scott Efros, a right-handed relief pitcher from the Chicago Cubs, in exchange for their number seven overall prospect, Hayden Wisniewski. Uh, Efros has been a relief pitcher in the Cubs system for a little while now. He's 28 years old and is a rookie. He has five years of club, of club control left on him, so he's going to be a valuable piece in the Yankees' bullpen for probably a, for a good amount of years to come. This year, he has a 2.66 ERA with... 44 strikeout, no, 50 strikeouts in 44 innings and 158 ERA plus. He has just been dominant. He's only allowed two home runs all season. 11 walks and 50 strikeouts is really, really good. And he's a bit of a sidearm reliever. He's a little bit of a funky type of guy. So he's going to add a little bit of extra value that not everyone can add. This is a big piece for the Yankees bullpen, who just recently lost Michael King for the season, who's been a big difference maker in their bullpen. And this is going to really add some bullpen depth that the Yankees desperately, desperately need if they're going to go on a deep postseason run and try and win the World Series this year. Chicago Cubs got Hayden Wisniewski, the Yankees' number seven overall prospect. He was drafted in round six of the 2019 draft by the Yankees and is a 3.51 ERA this season. He's six and seven with 83 strikeouts in 89 and two thirds innings. It's just very much on par for his career stats. He has a career 3.2. 3.2 ERA, 3.52 ERA, and it's just been dominant all around. This is a very good move for both sides. It's going to be interesting how Efros is going to pan out in New York, but the Yankees can hope that they can turn him into an even better lead pitcher than he was with the Cubs. He was very, very good. Wasn't really a closer there. Dave uh, belonged to David Robson. He's not going to be a closer in New York either. He's just going to be the setup guy. I could see them doing a very similar thing they did with Clay Holmes, turn him into a very, very valuable reliever, and just become a very, very good relief pitcher and reliable arm out of the Yankees' bullpen. Jack Curry on Yes was the one that broke this news, and I'm just here kind of reporting it, going over all the stuff. I think this is a good move for both sides. I feel like the Yankees got the piece that they needed. The Yankees definitely needed another relief pitcher, and they got one, that's for sure, and they got him for a long time. Efros is going to be on the Yankees at least for the next five years. So that's a valuable, valuable amount of time for a good relief pitcher. And Wesneski is a great, a great starting pitching prospect for the Cubs to try and go and get for the rebuild. I like this move for both sides. I feel like this is a great decision on the Cubs management and Brian Cashman of the Yankees in order to get that missing piece that he needed to help his uh, club become even, even, even better. The Yankees are going to be dominant this year. They probably only need like a starting pitching more to complete this deadline. But this is a big move, and they've made two of probably the biggest two of probably the biggest five moves out of this trade deadline so far. Now, Efros has been very underrated. I did not know his name until after this trade was completed, and I ended up looking him up. And I'm like, wow, this guy looks really, really nasty. He's, he is nasty. If you're taking a look at some of the highlights and throwing on the screen, he's filthy. That's plain and simple. That's all he is. He's a filthy relief pitcher. Great stuff. He's going to be a great piece for the Yankees. Hayden Wesneski is going to be a great piece for the Cubs as well in their upcoming rainbow. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this trade. Do you think who won this trade? Who do you think? Do you think it's a neutral trade? Do you think it's pretty fair for both sides? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm going to give you this next one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.